A recent survey indicated that a majority of companies offer some type of flexible work arrangements, like flex time, flexible breaks, completing work at home, and so on, to employees. It's important for employers to consider these arrangements when designing jobs because flexible work opportunities are generally viewed by employees as being attractive. Flexibility can be designed into a job in several different ways, such as by changing where or when the work can be performed. Flexible work is often spearheaded by using technology to enhance collaboration among employees, enabling them to accomplish more work efficiently and effectively. There is also a growing interest in creating flexible workspaces that complement flex work by eliminating cubicle and adding open work areas and shared offices and lounges. Flexible work arrangements enable employees to work at places other than their usual work sites. These approaches are collectively referred to as telework or telecommuting. Individuals who work at home or places other than an organization's official work site illustrate telework, which means that employees complete work through electronic interactions, telecommunications, and internet technology. Some benefits of telework are environmental in nature and address problems caused by traffic, vehicle emissions, and overbuilding. Employees find that they spend less on gasoline, vehicle maintenance, lunches, and dry cleaning. Not traveling to work saves employees time that can be used in other activities. Employees are also more productive due to higher morale and decreased stress. The ability to telecommute can help attract new employees and retain current employees because they're more satisfied and committed to the employer. However, some disadvantages are associated with telework. Some typical concerns include the following. Employees may not enjoy telework beyond a certain number of hours worked. Employees can feel like they're isolated socially from their coworkers. The electronic media used to facilitate telework may limit how well employees can interact with one another. Employees who have children and other responsibilities at home may face role conflict when work gets in the way. Some employees may also prefer to have more of a boundary between work and home. The nature of the employment relationship with teleworkers should be outlined in a policy that establishes clear work expectations as well as the boundaries between work and home. After careful consideration of these issues, companies can develop telework in several ways. Regular, meaning that employees may spend scheduled days or every day at the office or at home. Brief occasional, where employees use a home offices on weekends or nights to do a project. Or temporary or emergency where during bad weather, a natural disaster, or other events causing disruptions, employees work from home. Considering different work schedules can be a part of designing jobs. Non-standard schedules have been developed for employees in various occupations. Organizations are using many work scheduling arrangements, including shift work, the compressed work week, part-time schedules, job sharing, and flex time. The traditional work schedule in the United States of eight hours a day, five days a week, is in a transition. Workers may work fewer or more than eight hours at the workplace and may work additional hours at home. A common work schedule design is shift work, which requires employees to work on various schedules that function at different times throughout a workday. Many organizations need 24-hour coverage and therefore may schedule three shifts per day, each eight hours long. Most employers provide some type of additional pay, called a shift differential, for working in the evening or night shifts. Some types of shift work have been known to cause difficulties for some employees, such as weariness, irritability, lack of motivation, and some illness. Another type of work schedule design is the compressed work week, which involves accomplishing a full week's work in fewer than five days, eight hours each. Compression usually results in more work hours each day and fewer work days each week, such as a four-day week with 10-hour days or a three-day week with 12-hour shifts. Part-time jobs are used when less than 40 hours per week are required for some workers to perform their work in an organization. Part-time jobs are attractive for those who may not want to work a 40-hour work week, including older employees, parents of small children, and students. In some cases, professionals may choose part-time work because it fits their personal and occupational preferences. 
Another alternative solution is job sharing, which involves two employees performing the work of one full-time job. Such arrangements are beneficial for employees who may not want or be able to work full-time because of family responsibilities, school schedules, or other personal and professional reasons. In flex time, employees work a set number of hours a day, but might vary starting and ending times to meet scheduling flexibility. Another variation of this theme, employees may work 30 minutes longer Monday through Thursday, take shorter breaks, and leave at 1 or 2 on Fridays. For many employees, balancing their work and personal lives is a significant concern. Work-life balance involves employee-sponsored programs designed to help employees balance work and personal responsibilities.